In this video, I wanna quickly show you how to create one of our new hybrid maps and also show you a few of the new features that we've rolled out on the website. To get started, all you need to do is click the Create Your Map button anywhere on the homepage. That's gonna bring you to our map editor and as you can see, you now get an option for a quick tutorial. So you can click through, learn all about the different ways that you can create your map or if you already know how to create a map on Atlas Code, you can just X out of the tutorial. If you ever need to see it again, all you have to do is click this little question mark and it'll bring up and start the tutorial over again. Or we now offer chat support. So if you need any help, you can always reach somebody in the chat. So to get started creating a hybrid map, all you have to do is click the hybrid trip icon here. That's gonna automatically load in our default map. So for this example, we're gonna be changing this map to a flight from Nashville down to San Diego, then driving up the Pacific Coast Highway and flying back to Nashville from Seattle. And I'm gonna walk you through each step to create that map. So the first thing that we need to do is choose our departure city or airport. We'll choose Nashville International Airport. The next thing we need to do is choose where we're flying to. So I'll go ahead and type in San Diego, choose the airport there as well. And then we have a flight from Nashville to San Diego. Then we need to choose our first stop on the Pacific Coast Highway, which is Los Angeles. And as you can see, it automatically defaults to a flight route instead of a road trip. And so to change that, all you have to do is just click the button between the two destinations. So you can change it from flight to road trip and back anytime you need to. So if that is a road trip, the next thing we'll do is add the next destination as we're heading up the Pacific Coast Highway. Let's say we stopped in San Francisco. And then again, we'll just change that to a road trip. I'm sure if you're actually driving the Pacific Coast Highway, you're probably making quite a few more stops. Uh, but for this example, just to keep things moving, we'll say our last stop on the Pacific Coast Highway was Seattle. Again, it defaults to the flight, so we'll just change that to the road trip. And now you have a flight from Nashville to San Diego and then driving all the way from San Diego up to Seattle. So the last thing we need to do is just add the flight home. So again, we'll just search for the Nashville airport again. And now we have our entire route on our map. The next thing we need to do is make it look good. So to get started there, I'm just gonna click edit labels. This is gonna let me change what's actually displaying on the map because San Diego International Airport is a little long. I'd rather just say the city name, same with Nashville. And to do that, all you have to do is just change the text right here. So I type in Nashville. And as you can see, it actually doesn't change on the map, which is good that I can point this out because anytime you have two of the exact same locations on the map, it always defaults to the latter. So we'll have to go down here to the bottom. We'll erase International Airport and just change it to Nashville. And as you can see, now it says Nashville on the map. We're gonna do the same thing here for San Diego. So now we just have all the city names on the map. The next thing we need to do is decide on how far zoomed in or out we'd like our map to be. So we can play around a little bit with that and decide what we think looks good. I'm currently zooming in and out by just squeezing my fingers on the trackpad of my Mac. You can also use these buttons right up top to zoom your map in and out. Also, while we're up here, this little circular arrow changes the orientation of your map from horizontal to vertical actually really like the way this map looks vertical. So we're gonna stick with that, zoom it in a little bit. And then the next thing that we need to do is move these titles around. And you can easily do that just by grabbing them and then dragging and dropping them anywhere on the map. And as you can see, the corresponding dot marker actually turns red as you're moving this around. So you never lose uh, which title goes with which dot. We're actually gonna have to zoom this map out a little bit more so that San Francisco can fit. We'll move Los Angeles over. And last but not least, San Diego. This looks pretty good. It's a little off center, so we'll drag it back. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. The next step is gonna be to style your map. And we're gonna do that by coming up and clicking on style. And that's gonna allow us to select our layout and also select our color scheme. So these are all the different layouts that we have to choose from. So if we choose a layout that has text on the bottom, we could add a title, we could say Pacific Coast Highway, and then we could say 
July 2021. You can type whatever you want to right there. Um, or you can choose our new focus map and you can completely remove the titles from the map. For this example, that's what we'll go with. And then after you've chosen your layout, you can come down here and you can go through the different color styles and see which one of those you like best. I'm a big fan of Viridian, so we'll go with that color scheme for this example. And then the last step, you choose finish. And here's where you're gonna choose the type of map you wanna buy. You can either buy a print file or we've now added digital downloads. For this example, we'll stick with the print file. From there, you're gonna choose the size of your map. As you can see, if you choose a different side, size, your map may shift a little bit. Um, but for this one, we're just gonna stick with the medium. And then this is probably my new favorite feature that we've added to Atlas Co. And that's that you can now preview the different types of frames here on the website. So we offer hangers. And then in addition to previewing the frames, you can also preview the different color options. So hangers come in natural wood, black, and white. We also have metal frames and wood frames. I'm gonna choose a wood frame for this one with the natural wood look because I really like the way that looks with the Viridian color scheme. And that's all there is to it. From here, you just need to click the add to cart button and then you will have a beautiful map to hang on your wall.